How to attach a wire hanger to the back of your painting. First you need to know where you're going to actually put the wire. So what you do there is you turn your painting over. This canvas is a 12 by 12 canvas. So that means you start with one third of whatever the height of your your um, canvas is. So in this case it's 12 and if I divide that into 3 that would be 4 inches. So I've made a mark here 4 inches and 4 inches as well over here so that it's uh, one third of the way down. Now I prefer to use uh, D D hooks or I forget the other term triangular triangular hooks or whatever and I place them in you see there's a little sort of a bump there the bump normally goes up in some cases you can put D, the D clamp or the D clip on a bit of an angle like that but with this small little painting I think I'm just going to stick with uh, it going completely horizontal or at a right angle. So as you can see I find my mark and I find about the center of the hole. I'm using an out an awl here. You could use a pencil to mark it first if you want it. And I'm pressing down a hole into the wood. As you can see there. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Careful not to uh, be careful with uh, using an awl or a sharp instrument like that. You don't want to poke yourself or the or the picture itself. You could, if you had a nice firm table and some soft cloth under the painting, you could tap it a bit with a hammer, something like a small hammer like this. And also, if you do get, this here looks like a bit of a knot in the wood here, so this wood might be a little tough for a screw. Um, what you can do is just get a drill with a small drill bit. And you have to be careful not to drill all the way through the frame, for sure. Okay, so the next thing you want to do I don't believe I'm skipping ahead too much. Some people don't like using the D clamps or the triangle clamps. They they use uh, these or some. There's other fancier things too where you can just uh, uh, hangers that you can put on here, and then they just, you put them on the wall as well. I forget what they're called, and you can just vertically put the just bring the painting down into the little clamps. I'm using. Um, what am I using here? Size, size six uh, by one half inch. That might be too long. A good way to measure that is to just compare to the width and make sure it's not going to poke through into the canvas. And it's pretty close. I'm not sure I have a small one. Here's a here's a six by one, six by three eighths. So a small. This will probably do. This is a light painting. It's, I'm going to use um, wire that's rated between 10 and 30 pound. You don't need 30 pound wire for, for this particular one. So maybe, maybe we'll get away with uh, 3 8 6 by 3 8 I'm using the green Robertson. And down and this way I don't need to have as large a hole either as in like drilling a hole, a pilot hole. Yeah, as I said, you can you can put them on a bit like angle like that if you want to. So on the wire will tend to go triangular. Okay. So it's uh, six by three eighths. And the 
get this one going here. Probably pause the camera for a second to get my wire wire ready because it's pretty simple stuff. All right, hopefully you can see that. Slight angle upward. If you do use a larger, a, a deeper screw, you should, you, of course, you'd have to have the frame size for it or thickness. You would have to um, use the drill because you don't want to crack the wood when you're screw it into. So there we have our two triangular uh, clips. D clips, make sure always that the third part is at the top. You don't want to end up measuring down here four inches and then go, oops, got it upside down. Yep, that's stuff like that happens to me all the time. All right, so I got this from Home Depot. And it's uh, braided wire. It's not the solid wire because uh, braided wire is actually a little stronger for the size of it and a little more flexible. Of course, they have to include um, screw eyes and hangers. In this case, it may not need. I already got tons of those. Oops. It's like Christmas. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna show you, show you a close up here in a second. Next thing I do is I get my coil of braided wire. I like to, you don't have to do it this way, but I like to put it through this one first, and I know I'm gonna tie it off on this one. All right. Get the hook here. All right, you put it through the hook, like that, and, oh, that's probably enough, maybe too much. And the next, you put it through, and then you go around the back, like this, and through the hoop, like that, then around, but not through this on the next time, and you uh, just spin it around like this. Nice and tight. Take your wire, you've got it through. Now you can't have it that tight, obviously. So what you do is you bring it up to about, about an inch away from the inside of the canvas. And then you can just bend it so you know where it is. Now you're gonna to wanna to cut it. So about there should be fine. For this light of wire, I just use the an old pair of scissors that I don't care about too much. All right. Up through and under, then around and through. Gee, I hope that's the way I did the other one. That was the idea anyway. Like that. and then twist it off, or not twist it off, but twist it again. Kind of check your tightness. That might be a little loose, but probably is. But I guess it'll pass. I think I'm not being as fussy with because of the saving, just to save, um, shorten the video. 
Okay, a little extra something that I do, not everyone will do, of course, is I get a little bit of electrical tape. Let's see here. Cut off about an inch. Go in this a little bit like this, and this is just to me, kind of keeps the pokey parts, the wire, off of people's, you know, fingers, and kind of protects it. Scrape it on the walls. Just kind of pinch it like that. I suppose in time it would it would fall right off. And the other side. Got it leaning forward a little bit so as it turns it'll go it'll go ahead from left to right on this. A little bit more on this one than the other one. Just a coincidence. Okay, that's what I do. Um, sometimes I write my name and the name of the painting here. For all I know, these people might actually get that is a little looser than I thought it would be, but um you can put little foot pads on here too if you want to, to we'll bring uh, here in each corner little rubber pads, especially with, for larger paintings because the moisture from the room will get up and behind the painting over time. So that is, I believe, about it. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.